This is a night elf model, so the first thing I'm going to do is make those fingertips not sharp. Because they're not meant to be sharp, I suppose. They're meant to look as if they have long fingernails. Let's define the shape of the nails. We add a loop cut at the nail's back, and then cut the sides with a knife tool. Instead of doing this directly with a knife tool, I'm going to hide these faces and then add a loop cut, just because it's a little easier. Now I can bring those faces back. So with a knife tool, let's define the back of the nail for each one, and the front. I'm also going to give these new cuts a mean crease of 1, and the same for all the nail frames. We'll need it later. Select these faces, and let's change the pivot of transformation to individual origins. Hit I to inset, drag your mouse a bit, and left click to confirm. Using the knife tool, we're going to continue this inner line all the way to the edge, and give it a full mean crease of 1. I forgot the thumb! It's always good to test your results in solid mode, with subdivision on. So I think this looks fine. It could pass as a hint of fingernails under a glove, if the texture we had here was for a gloved hand, which is what I wanted. But if we change the material on them, they can look like nails. The fingernail material is the skin texture, on a regular principal shader, only with the specularity set to 1, and then you can control the look you want with a roughness shader, according to how good is the manicurist in Nutella cell. I also mean creased the areas where the fingers bend, and in fact, I think I also want to mean crease where the third knuckle bends. Yep, that looks good. Not so much here, so let's remove the creases closer to the top. That looks much better. And now, if we give the finger nice material, I think we get something that looks decent. So to make it more fingernaily, I want to make a shape key to define the bed of the nail. That way we can turn the shape key on or off according to whether we have a gloved hand or a naked one. Let's go back here, go to our shape keys and make a new one. Select this loop and pull it up a bit. There we have it, nice and subtle. Let's do this for all of them. And here's how you make long fingernails, if that's what you prefer. Select only the nail area, not the frame. Shift D to duplicate it. Enter. P to separate and selection. Enter. Let's rename this new mesh. Now that we have them in a separate one, let's apply all the shape keys. Click this little arrow. Select new shape from mix. Pull its value all the way up and get rid of all the others with that last one, the new shape from mix one, deleted last. With the shape keys applied, let's give the nails a solidify modifier and pull the thickness to minus whatever, not much, just something that looks good in your scene. Let's test this with subdivision surface on. Now that I've got an actual nail mesh, to make them long, we can make a new shape key and pull them to be as long as we want. I find it easier to do with the solidify turned off. You can disable or enable it by clicking this little screen icon. And that looks horrible. Let's take those and pull them up like this. Now it looks less like a predator's claw. Do the same for all the rest. Oh, doesn't this look as if it belongs in Revendreth? <laughs> okay, so if your nails look really bad, and I'm saying this because mine just did, then take a look at your own nails and see what the difference is. Are they flat? Are they arched? Are they long? Are they even shaped? What does the base look like? Copying and fixing them according to what you see will probably make them look a whole lot better. And that's it, we're done. Congratulations on your new nails.